Hello everyone, this is Ann. I want to show you uh, a real easy way to um, do some creative uh, text in uh, Silhouette. Of course I have the uh, business edition, but I sure hope that the basic software that comes with uh, the cutting machine also has this feature in it. And what I'm going to do is I have this uh, Silhouette of Mickey and I've typed out my words all world after all um, and what I plan to do is to have these words follow the path of Mickey's uh, head <clears throat> and it really isn't that hard to do it just won't get better I apologize um, what you want to do is just type out whatever text it is that you have and with it highlight it you want to double click it to where you see this little directional, oh, let's see here, to zoom in on it. This little four-way directional um, icon that's there, what we're going to do is drag it and position it where we want everything to start. So you can see that I go from a regular cursor when I get to it, it changes to a crosshair. So I'm going to click it and drag it onto where I want it to start. And of course, I probably have way too much on here. So what I'm going to do uh, is, <clears throat> excuse me, let's see if we can play with the uh, character spacing a little bit. It's at 100% now. So let's see if we can space this out a little bit. I'm pretty sure I have too many. It's a small world after all. So uh, I'm, I'm going to make it smaller. Let me just go back a step here. And let's uh, click off of it. I'm going to double click it. And I had it at 48, but I'm, the more I think about it, I, I don't even know. Let's see what 18 does. Uh, that's probably going to be too small. Let's see what 24 does. Uh, uh, for us. Well, that'll be too small to cut, but we can make it larger later. I'm just, um, I probably have way too much said on here. That's probably what my problem is. So I'm just going to double click on it. And I'm going to grab this place. Uh, lost it that quick. Let's see. Grab this placement. And I want it to start. I guess I can start it here. It's a small world after all. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I actually had a little more room trying to get it positioned just right. So let's start here at his nose. It's a small, small world. And so <clears throat> all we have to do is just play with the slider here to give us more, I mean, character spacing, to give us more space that makes it more jumbled. This increases it to make it bigger. I mean, to give us more space in there. And again, I suspect that I probably have too much uh, text that's going on. So make sure that you don't make the mistake that I did. Because you don't want to decrease this because at that point, it will get too small to even uh, type. So I guess for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, let's just say that I had enough in there. Because I want to show you the technique versus trying to get it perfected. If you wanted to... Um, keep it as is and put the Huffman family first Disney World vacation uh, trip or to list all of your kids or whoever is attending whatever words you want to put on there that's what you would um, uh, you just type it out and put on you can just leave it on there if that's what you want it to do um, so I'm just going to uh, at this point um, let's see if I can get just click off of it and I want to click on just what I think are our words there I want to convert it to a path and so now the words are an actual uh, path and I can move Mickey out of the way and as you can see I still excuse me I still have that outline. Obviously, again, uh, I, I have, I'm saying too much in there. So 
you all will have to uh, uh, be conscious of that. So I can place him back in if that's what I wanted to do. I could actually uh, reduce the size of Mickey and say some more words until the entire thing is filled with actual words. And But this is what you would be left to cut. And obviously, you know, these letters can't are going to be small. The size of it is uh, 8.2 by 7 and a half, basically. Um, but these letters are going to be small. So don't put as much on here as I did. This was just a little quick um, tutorial to let you see what you're able to do with the uh, text. And that's the same thing as putting something, um, making circular text uh, as well. So there's so much that the software can do. You just have to jump in there and play with it. So now that I have that over there, let me just grab the, um, the, the ellipse tool. And I'm going to hold down my uh, control. And I'm just uh, drawing a circle so that it, it it doesn't get distorted and it continues to be a perfect round circle. And so with this circle, uh, this is the um, uh, path that I'm going to have my uh, words on. So um, let's just go over here and type some. <clears throat> And I'll just leave it as that. Uh, let, let me give it some color. You don't have to, but that's just a habit of mine give some, <clears throat> to give a color. Uh, and so this is already selected. And I know this is at 72 points. And how to make sure is once you click on the icon for uh, text, it's going to let you know that that's what my size is and I, I can look at that and I know that it's going to be way too big but I'll just show you. So with this little icon there my, my cursor turns to a crosshair. I'm just going to pull this down to the circle and I'm just rotating it around to where I want it uh, to be. And then um, the character spacing is a space in between each one of the letters. Sometimes you have to uh, um, go in and just kind of push them closer together. You can uh, rotate them, not rotate them. You can um, um, use your arrow keys to try to uh, space them a little bit better, position them a little bit better. I know that this could be closer just from the distance in, uh, in it. So I'll just click this down arrow and you'll notice you'll start seeing that uh, the letters are getting a little bit closer. <clears throat> I imagine that I probably get around the 90 mark where they really start to get close in there. And so <clears throat> all I have to do is just click off of this and highlight just the, the uh, words. I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to say convert it to a path. Then I can click on this circle and move it out of the way. And then I have this. Likewise, if you uh, wanted to put it on the bottom, <clears throat> on the bottom, uh, I suggest typing Huffman and then typing family so that you can grab family uh, separate. So let's just see here, keep this, put this over here. And that's one word and uh, I'm just typing it twice here. And so what I just want to do is bring it here to the bottom, but I'm going inside. You notice now that I'm inside of it. And of course, it's jumbled up together. So I want to increase my spacing, my character spacing. Get 
that I and the uh, M, I, and L from being so close together. And I can kind of stretch it out a little bit here. <clears throat> um, let's see if I can make it a little bit more of a so I can, I can kind of see it. And I'll need to move this as well. So I'm just going to click off of it and click on it here and I'm just going to ungroup it and then I'll just click. And I'm just using my arrow key to come over and down a little just in playing with it. I can use this rotation to rotate it around. I mean sometimes you have to tweak it depending on what the word is that you're using. Moving that one over, click this one. Because some of the things that we would love for it to do, it doesn't um, always do that automatically for us. So I'm just going to stop tweaking with it. But once you move this out of the way, just make sure that you click it again um, and just group it. And you need to make sure that you convert it to a path. And so that would be, uh, I think it was probably about here. And then I would just double click on this one on Huffman and just drag it down to the circle and then click off of it, click on it. I make whatever adjustments I needed to as far as spacing goes. <clears throat> if I wanted to change the uh, uh, a different font and I'm just going to convert it to path. And then all I have to do is I can just move this out of the way or click on the circle and hit delete. And that's how you end up with um, the, um, having your text go in a particular uh, path. And I'm just going to go ahead and group this. Likewise, when you see some of these things, you can go back to this ellipse tool and you don't make a perfect circle. You can, you know, make it however long that you need to, uh, depending on how much of an arc you want to have uh, for your words. And so now I'll go back here. And <clears throat> click off of it, right click, and convert to path. And I can just move this out of the way. So I have just a little bit of an arc. Uh, arch going on there. So a lot depends on the shape that you have for this. If you, let's just uh, go back there and let's take this and let's go out some and really go in with this. And I'm just going to click on these nodes here and see if I can bring it around here. There. And let's click back on select now and double click. And let's just drag this down to it. And you see the bowl, of course, my, I have my H way too far down here. But. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we can use this. I uh, lost it. Back here. There we go. To bring them all kind of together, but they're a little bit too close. So I go over here and adjust my character spacing, but it is still going in the direction of the path that was used. So then I just remove. Oh, sorry about that. You know what I didn't do? was to click on this, right click, and say convert to path. Now it is a path, and I don't need the path uh, that I drew originally. So this just lets you know that you know, you're only limited by your imagination as to what um, direction you can, um, uh, or what, what direction or path that you want your text uh, to go in. If you used uh, Chevron up and down, your 
uh, words would do the same thing. Um, so I just want to give you this little quick tutorial this morning before I get started on some personal projects. I hope you enjoyed it and it will um, um, cause you to be a little curious and start playing around more with your silhouette. Enjoy your day.